He said enjoy, and I said you too. That's what happens when you have anxiety and you're trying to be nice. So I ordered a bacon, egg, and cheese, I think. That is intense. And then I got a mocha iced coffee. I got this yesterday. And I think the barista that made it yesterday, I just made it with love. And whoever made this one did not make it with love. That's the thing. Like, I love going to small, like, coffee shops and stuff. Like, the vibe's there. The energy's there, you know? You walk in, you're like, oh, I love it here. I could, I could be a barista. I could come here every day and work on my computer. Like, I just want to be in the establishment at all times. But then you get the coffee, and it's like, maybe I don't want to be here. I think my thing is I'm a simple girl. Like, I like my Dunkin' iced coffee. You know, it's a hit or miss. You never really know what you're gonna get at Dunkin', but it's cheap enough that it's like, if it is a miss, I don't feel scammed. I don't feel disrespected. I feel a little disrespected, but not as much when you pay like $14 for an iced coffee. I brought my Jelly Cat with me. This is Jingle Bells. I used to be really ashamed to admit this, but I get really homesick anywhere I go. Like, anywhere I travel, I'm a full grown adult, and I'm still like, I wish I was home. Like, I'm happy. I want to be in New York. I'm having a good time. But then I try to lay down, and I'm like, oh my god. This is the, I made the worst decision ever. Why am I here? Why am I two hours away from home and not in my bed? I was always that girl that got homesick at sleepovers. Like, as soon as everyone started to go to sleep, I was like, oh no. Hmm, oh no, I can't be here. And I would pull the, the whole, I don't feel good. There was one time I faked an asthma attack and I'd call my parents and I'd be like, you need to come pick me up. But I have always been like that and definitely was feeling that last night. And I play this little game where I'm like laying in bed and I have my eyes closed and I'm imagining I'm in my bed because I like tried to trick my brain. And I'm like, oh, I'm not homesick, I'm home. But that just made me miss home more and made me even more anxious and it just wasn't a good time so I didn't sleep much last night but hopefully with me not sleeping much last night and you know having kind of a lot to do today I'll be tired enough that I fall asleep but it is so cold out I thought it'd be cute like, let's sit outside and get some fresh air it's cold it's also January still in bed I did my makeup the majority of my time here like in New York so far I've literally just laid in bed because this hotel has everything that I need like I don't have to leave for really anything they have coffee they have good food wine literally anything that you really need they have here my friend Lauren's here she has a room too at the same hotel and last night we went to Target and we went and got a chocolate croissant and that's about it. But you might be like, well, why are you in New York then? Why'd you come here to lay in bed when you do that at home so effortlessly? And clearly you don't like leaving home, so why are you here? Lauren has an event tonight with CoverGirl. She texted me a couple days ago and was like, I'm going to this event in New York. I don't have a plus one, but I want you to go. So here's the email if you want to go. Like if you want to reach out and ask them if you can go, here's the email. And... I've never really done that, like emailed and was like, hey, can I come? Because I think I have trauma from past friendships of, you know, my friends not inviting me to places and like me having to reach out and be like, hey, can I come? And like they wouldn't respond or they'd be like, no, you get it? So I don't normally just like reach out to brands. If I was that person, I would have DM'd Tarte by now and been like, can I come on a brand trip? But I'm not that person. But I was like, you know what? Fuck it. The worst they're going to say is no. And the best thing they could say is hell yeah. And... I'm clearly here, so they must have said, yeah, they did. They said yes, so I'm going to a CoverGirl event tonight. I'm really happy, I'm really excited, but I'm like really like chill, mysterious, like really cool. Calm, cool, and collected. Like this is just my everyday life, like it's everyday, bro. Am I playing it really cool right now? coffee. Literally all I've done is lay in bed and drink coffee. But I'm not mad. I was about to say that's what vacation's for, but I'm not on vacation. But it's time for me to stop being lazy and I have to record a podcast episode. I don't have to, but if I don't do it today, 
I'm going to feel really bad about myself and feel like I'm fucking off way too much. Like, it's okay to fuck off a little bit. It's okay to relax, chill. Like, you shouldn't feel guilty about chilling. Like, I've seen so many people say, like, rotting it out in 2024. Says who? And why are we calling it rotting? Why aren't we just calling it relaxing? Okay, I gotta record this episode. I'll check in with you after, even though I'm probably gonna be in bed. Sue me. I just finished recording. I felt like there was something wrong with me because I did everything this person wanted. I did everything right. I became the perfect partner for them and they still didn't want me. And I'm pretty hungry. You know, for the vlog, I should probably like go and get food and like bring you with me because it'd be interesting, right, if I did that. Um, but it's cold. I did not realize how cold it was going to be. I live in Connecticut, so like I know New York gets cold. But when I looked at the weather, it didn't look this cold. So um, I didn't pack that well or I didn't pack correctly for this weather. And it's really cold out. I'm getting really jittery though because this is my second coffee and all I've had was that bacon, egg, and cheese. So I should probably order some food. It's the next morning and I'm in bed. I feel like I should just call this video in bed in New York City. I promise I got up and I went to the event. My thing is like when I'm having fun and like I'm present, I don't think to like vlog or take my phone out. And it's like, that's your job, bozo. I have to go back home today, but I will be back in New York City in approximately two weeks. So that's exciting, but it's a lot. I'm definitely a creature of habit. Like I like being home. <laughs> I just remembered last night, I came home, I came here. I'm obviously very drunk at this point. I'm alone. <laughs> I just start sobbing because I'm like, I wish I was home with my dogs and my boyfriend. See, that's when I should have taken out the camera because that's hilarious. Like I was fully sobbing in bed about that. And not even sobbing like, oh my God, I miss him so much. It was like sobbing like I'm so grateful that I miss him so much. Like I was so, whenever I drink, it goes one of two ways. I get really emotional, like sad or really emotional happy. And I just had a really good night. I just felt really good. And then I started thinking about how much I love my life and I love my little family. And then I just, I started sobbing. That's why my eyes look as puffy as they do. Well, also because that's when I drink, my face gets puffy. But also I still have tan, so this little tan are stuck to like every blemish on my face. So now I just look dirty, which I probably am a little teeny tiny bit. Whenever I'm in New York, I always go to this bakery. It's in Grand Central. I think I'm going the right way. Yeah. It's just a small little bakery, but they have good ass croissants. Oh, uh, can I just get one chocolate croissant, please? Seagulls flying around is so 1989 coded. Except for the fact we're not at a beach, we're at a train station. 1989 though, by Taylor Swift obviously, is very New York. Like I feel like I'm in my 1989 era. Well New York, it's been fun, but not too much fun. Or else if I had the most fun, I'd be staying. But let's be real, I wanna go home.